Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Okay, tomorrow's a big day, so let's look back at some of the extreme weather on the 4th of July. The hottest one ever, 2012, we hit 101. In 1968, we started at 50 in the morning. In 2008, it only hit 68 for the daytime high. That's crazy. And one year later, in 2009, we got almost an inch and a half of rain. So we've had some pretty extreme weather. This year's going to be warm, but shouldn't be anything excessive. Today was kind of warm, but about average. We hit 86 for the high. 67 was our low early this morning. No rain here at the TV station today, but boy, look at this total for the month already where we should be. 4.35, 4.38 is the normal for the month. So we're already there just a couple days into the month. There have been a few scattered showers around today, but they've been fairly minor. We'll show those to you on radar in a second. River in Terre Haute went up some, but it's actually starting to fall again now in the Terre Haute area of just over five feet. So what are we looking at? Well, actually, we've got a calm kind of period right now. Warm holiday, midweek storms, maybe some strong to severe storms. We'll keep an eye on Wednesday and then a nice end to the week. It looks like as we get into Friday and probably the start of the upcoming weekend. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 85. Feels like 89, though, because we have a lot of moisture in the air now, so there's a mugginess. Here's our crossroad cycle cache projected for 7 o'clock Eastern. We're looking at partly sunny 83. We'll have a northwest wind at about 3 miles per hour, so not a lot of a breeze out there. Temperatures pretty much in the 80s all across the area. There's moisture on the water vapor satellite. You can see kind of moving up into this area, but there's no front or any big storms to generate widespread rain. You just have the heat of the day, and when you get that, you bubble up a few of these scattered showers and storms, as you can see here on the Dorset Automotive Doppler Radar. Very hit and miss, and that's kind of what we're looking at tomorrow. Hit and miss, a scattered, very scattered. We'll put this in motion for you and stop this once we get into the afternoon hours for tomorrow. Watch the clock up here. Once we hit about mid-afternoon, right there, 4 o'clock, again, very hit and miss. There'll be a few isolated storms that pop up or showers in the afternoon because of the heat of the day. Now, as we get into Wednesday, we have a front approaching. Now, that's going to generate a better chance of some showers and storms by late in the day. See this right here? This is the front that we'll watch, probably not getting into our western counties until after about 8 o'clock Eastern. But we'll keep an eye on that because we do have a slight risk of severe weather again. This would be primarily late Wednesday towards the evening hours with the front coming in. So we'll keep an eye to the sky later in the day on Wednesday with that next front moving in. It'll generate some rain showers for Wednesday night, Thursday. But look at this. By Friday or Thursday night late, we clear out. We should stay pretty good as we head into Saturday. Another chance by Saturday night, Sunday that may last into Monday with some scattered rain. So we still have some rain chances in the forecast off and on the next few days. For tonight, though, again, a few early spotty showers. Those will die off. Otherwise, about 66 for the overnight low. Tomorrow, can't rule out a couple of isolated afternoon storms or showers here or there, but generally in good shape. 90 for the high, so good and warm. And then after that, temperatures are going to stay warm as we take you into the rest of the forecast. We'll have to watch late Wednesday, a chance of some storms, scattered showers and storms. Thursday, we cool back to 81. And right now, it looks like a good start to the weekend with more rain chances Sunday into Monday.